I'm going to show you how to install TASMOTA onto the ESP8266 Wi-Fi 8-channel relay board. I'll include some links in the description. Removing the board from the anti-static bag reveals some headers, which allow us to connect to the board and burn the firmware onto the chip. If we have a look at the rear of the board, we can see short codes describing each pin. The only strip we're interested in is the one at the bottom, which includes four pins that we're going to connect to our serial port, ground, RX, TX and 5V. If you don't have a serial port on your computer, you'll need a USB to serial converter. These are very cheap and easily available. The pins we're interested in are the same as those on the ESP board. We join 5 volts and ground directly and swap RX and TX around so that TX connects to RX and vice versa. We're not interested in the large header, we want the small one with six pins, but there's a problem with it. It fits, but it wiggles around and doesn't give a good connection. Once I've connected all the relevant pins, I line up the green five volt pin with a five volt pin on the board, which is at the end nearest to the large power connector. I plug the header into the board. As you can see, the header is still wiggling around. So to prevent this, I tape the wires to the desk, which allow me to apply some pressure to the pins and ensure they're connected. When we plug the USB port into the computer, the board enters a strange mode. To put a stop to this, press and hold the I00 button, tap the EN button, then release the I00. If you're interested in seeing the data being sent by the board to the serial port, you can run a terminal emulation program. This is a very simple one that I wrote. You choose the COM port that the USB to serial port is connected, then click open. It will display the raw text at the top of the screen and the decimal representation at the bottom. You can see that the last message is waiting for download. Now that the board is ready to be flashed, open the TASMOTA installation page. The link is in the description. Firstly, choose TASMOTA 4 megabyte flash. You could also just keep the standard TASMOTA option. Once you've done this, click Connect. This will list the available serial ports. Choose the one connected to the board. In my case, it's COM3. But this might be different on other computers. At this point, it will try to connect to the board. Confirm that you want to install TASMOTA and that you're happy to erase the device. It will then start to flash. This will take a few minutes. Be careful not to knock the wires as it could mess up the process. To save you sitting through two to three minutes of this, I have speeded up the video. After a few minutes, it will show that it's wrapping up and then a message showing that the installation has completed. It has now installed TASMOTA and is ready to be configured. Go to your Wi-Fi settings and connect to the network which is prefixed with TASMOTA. Once connected, it might automatically take you to a browser window. For some reason on mine, it opens MSN, but you can navigate to the correct address, which is usually 192.168.4.1. From this screen, you can choose the network that you want the device to connect to and the Wi-Fi password. It will then restart and connect to your network. After a short period of time, it should show that a successful Wi-Fi connection has been made and it will redirect to this page and allow you to configure the device type. You do this by clicking on the configuration option of the main menu, then click configure other. In this screen, you should copy the template definition from the TASMOTA page for this device. I've included a link in the description. Ensure that you also click the activate option so that it applies this new template after it reboots. Once you save this new configuration, the device will reboot. And assuming everything went well, it should show you a screen with eight buttons on it. I'm going to click buttons one and two, and then seven and eight. You can see on the relay that the relevant relays are switching and lighting up. Hopefully this video was useful. 
and it helped get your device flashed. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them.